The 2024 girls' fall sports season brought much success this year for the Shamrocks, with all sports earning their way to the state tournament. Activities Director and Assistant Principal Merlin Lom discusses how he thinks this girls' fall sports season went. Well, I think we had a magnificent fall season. Every high school girls' team won a district championship, which is pretty rare. I don't, you know, if you look at the, the plaques in some schools, you know, we got as many this fall as some schools get in five, ten years. So I mean, our, our girls had an amazing fall season. The volleyball team faced a tough schedule, multiple times winning games in close five-set matches. They played Ogallala at SCOTUS for the district final, and while they lost the first two sets, they battled back in one in yet another five-set match. This led them to qualifying for state for the first time in six years, playing Wahoo High in the first round of the state tournament. While it was a close game, ultimately the Shamrocks lost in a four-set match ending their season with a record of 28-7. and seven. Senior setter Mia Sackett talks about her favorite part of the season. Favorite part was those really close games where it's like really nerve-wracking, but it's so fun. And a lot of those fifth set matches we had that are really close and those sets that we came back, we were down and we came back and won. The SCOTUS girls golf team had success this year as well, winning seven meets and three triangulars throughout the course of the season. They were named the Class C District Champions on October 8th at Oakland, where they punched their ticket to state for the 13th year in a row. During the two-day state championship meet at North Platte, they finished fourth out of 15 teams in the state. Senior Quinwin Cannon tied for sixth out of 93 golfers, shooting an 84 both days of the meet. When Cannon talks about how the season went as a whole, our golf season was really successful. We won a lot of the tournaments and were competitive in every single one. And that was really the goal for this year. So we, so we met our expectations. The girls cross country team faced adversity throughout the season with sickness and injury, but they powered through and found a way to be successful as well. They won seven out of the nine meets they ran, including the district final at Omaha Concordia. On October 25th, the girls ran at the Class C state meet in Kearney and finished runner-up out of 15 teams. Freshman Avery Heinrich and sophomore Emlyn Kavan both placed in the top 15 runners. Heinrich finished second and Kavan finished 10th. Heinrich's time put her fifth all-time for the Class C state meet and also broke SCOTUS's UNK meet record by 51 seconds. Heinrich talks about how she feels about winning state runner-up at the meet. It was really exciting because it was really unexpected. I did not expect state to go so well, but it was really exciting, and as a team, we worked so hard for it, so it was really good. Overall, SCOTUS's girls' fall sports had tremendous success this season, with all sports making it to the state tournament. Congratulations to all the teams.